Tekla, congratulations for a marionette. Thank you so much. So, uh, so let me uh, start off with an easy question. What attracted you to a project like a marionette for you? Well, I read the script and I was immediately so fascinated uh, by, by, this, by the mathematical clockwork the story is and how when I finished the last page, I basically immediately wanted to read the whole script again because uh, I, I, well, also because I didn't, I don't think I, I realized everything by the first read, but because I felt it was so ambiguously rich and there were so many levels to grasp that I didn't grasp immediately, but I, I felt like it was uh, a really a good clockwork. And uh, yeah, so that's what, and the role attracted me massively because it's such a strong and layered and complex character. And I love psychology and psychiatry. So, you know, all those things. Did, did you did you have to uh, prepare through any prep work uh, to because of the background of uh, psychology and psychiatry to, to play this character? Well, um, Albert and I carefully discussed the psychiatry sessions that are like short moments, of course, in the film. But basically, most of my prep was really with Albert, who is like the creator of the story as well. And who is so much, he knows like every corner of the universes and the and the parallel worlds in the script so the major work was to to get inside his head and be able to really um, um, possess the story completely at all times because there's there's so many shifts and in the end I found out that I actually could though the story is not linear I had to play it really linearly the way Marianne actually goes to the film and trust that in the end, the script itself, um, yeah, uh, um, plays out all the layers that are there. How how much a discussion did you have with Albert on you know the discussions <laughs> of God, and and so on? I, I understand you're you're a Catholic. I think that that what he uh, well, no, I do have a a specific background. My father yeah. was a priest, uh, but he was in the seventies a very progressive um, priest. He was already against the Vatican and pro-gay, pro-women, and everything in in church. So I, I and I, he's not with us anymore. But I really admire him for that. And he got married to my mother, which is absolutely against priesthood, and uh, but stayed loyal in his in 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 himself, uh, you know, to what he believed in. But so I would I wouldn't say I'm a, I'm a Catholic in that sense. I was brought up in that world, but in a very open way, and I. We did, did talk a lot about this, and uh, it's what I also, it's one of the perspectives in the film that, you know, everyone takes the film on a different level. Some people see it as a really good psychological thriller, and a lot of people also luckily go into these layers, the philosophical layers uh, in it. And I'm very much um, like Albert, who has a, has a quite a religious past as well, um, in a different way, not in such a free and open way as I, as I have it. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I really um, love that these two perspectives, uh, an all, an all power, an, how do you call it, an all powerful God, God yeah. versus, you know, versus your own responsibility or karma or the Buddhistic perspective, which is more my perspective, um, are, 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 you know, are both being examined in it. Wow. Um, when, when you were playing this role, did you see this... Uh... This film more like it, it could almost it is a thriller, but it, it can almost be like a horror at the same time. Do, do you ever see those type of elements when you were acting? Um, I'm not so much when I when I'm acting. I think I I really perceived it as a as a as a psychological thriller mostly when I saw it, and then I realized that there's you know the the, the cinematography and and the way Albert and the cinematographer um, you know envisioned it. There's a lot of uh, genre references in it as well um, and I think it really depends I mean I think in the US now it's being a bit more uh, published as a horror uh, more than in Europe and I think you know it's it's really where you put the emphasis as a as a viewer and or the way you perceive it yourself I mean I'm, I'm not a huge horror genre person uh, but it's definitely you know 
uh, very creepy, <laughs> this film. <laughs> and I Elijah, yeah, the, the, the boy who plays, plays him, is, uh, I think he's amazing. He's at all times so uh, ambiguous. Uh, it was fascinating to work with him as well. Um, so yeah, I think it, there's a lot of genre bending uh, happening in this one, which oh. I think is fine, there's that freedom. How, how was working with Elijah? Because he, he was so, I, in, in his own way, terrifying, you know, and very mysterious. I mean, that, that takes a well, lot that, with, with, the, with the child. Yeah. The, the thing with him, he's angelic and terrifying at the same time. And he's a very bright young kid. Uh, I love that uh, he, I, he's very talented. Uh, and Albert, I love how Albert approached him as well. He like he talked to both of us on the same level as two actors. You know, uh, there's a part that Albert hid from him during filming. Like he wasn't supposed to know how it ended. Um, and I think that was smart and it worked. Um, but uh, it was like working with another a good colleague, you know, not so much a kid actually. Uh, and uh, he, he was amazing how he how he uh, tuned into the moment and then you know went on set he went on like <laughs> haunting he, he came he came i remember one day there was a set and he said i found this cellar and it's supposed to be from uh, uh, roman times and like he was all in his own story at the same time when we were doing this creepy other story so really great uh, great uh, guy boy young man i should say young man now. <laughs> that is true that is true well, what was your impression when you first saw the artwork, the, you know, the ch child's artwork yeah. that you saw? <laughs> I loved it. I, I, I mean, I think it's really, I love that it's both feels really truthfully childish. And yet, uh, what was a, a big thing in the film uh, uh, that we had to pay attention to all the time is that he's so all knowing, uh, the character of the boy, but still he couldn't be too adult. You know, there's things about the relationship um, um, that Marianne has with uh, the, the, the man she encounters that he shouldn't be too uh, all knowing about, but still he, it, he addresses her on that level. So there, and, and I think the drawings has, have that same, like they're shocking and they're really grown up, but still they're very childish. So yeah, I, I think I loved it. The black and the red. <laughs> <laughs> it is yeah. it is that is that is true now um you being a uh, dutch and um and this was being filmed in scotland how was your experience how was scotland because it the movie makes it seem so gloomy and rainy <laughs> all the time but you probably had a different it kind, experience. <laughs> it kind of is i mean it was it was november uh, uh when we shot there and and I can hardly say it's sunny and uh, any other than gloomy. I think, I mean, I, I think re, uh, um, Albert saw that out really well, that New York and the whole time with, uh, you know, Marianne's husband, Upstate New York, is all very sunny and warm and soft colors. And then as soon as she hits, you know, uh, uh, hits ground in Scotland, it goes into this rainy, gloomy, and it's a character on its own in the film. I mean, it really plays a big part. And... Uh, I, I loved it there. I mean, uh, as an actor too, you know, in my days off, I really uh, enjoyed it. And I think it's a, it's a beautiful character in the film, you know, the landscape. Was, what, was the sets uh, kind of, uh, you know, kind of creepy and dark like it is shown in, in, in the film? Yes. Some of them, I really literally only went to the places where we shot and I didn't go wander around in the castle like Elijah would he would like go run around but I wasn't really attracted I thought some of them were actually quite you know there was a um a, a former foster home for example a huge sort of castle in that was empty and I I I, I thought the energy was quite heavy and creepy there uh yeah it, it was as gloomy as it looked. It wasn't. Uh, it was not uh, built to be gloomy. It was original. <laughs> <laughs> now you 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 mentioned um, Albert uh, quite a few times. It sounds like you really enjoy um, enjoy him. What what's about his directing styles that you like 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 the most about him? Um. Well, 
Well, like I said, I think it really spoke for him the way he treated Elijah and me as, you know, equal. Um, but I mean, what fascinated me from the start when I when I first spoke to him is, I mean, our first meeting ended up, you know, uh, being three hours and we endlessly talked about the philosophical layers of the script and about uh, uh, everything that he'd been through with the story because he had ha has had this script, you know, for a long time. And, and initially it was actually supposed to be an American a film and originally Marianne was a male character it was supposed to be Matt Damon back in the day and I loved that he just changed it into a woman without changing anything in the role uh, which I think somehow you can sense in the in the part uh, that it's it wasn't I think unknowingly we sometimes write female roles or characters with some presumptions you know that we maybe shouldn't have um but i i just lo loved working being we were just in one it was like we were working from one head you know i i uh we only needed one or two words often i really knew what film he wanted to make and i could really you know get into that universe so um it's very straightforward which maybe is very dutch you know he's very straight and on and brief and and i liked working that way Nicola, you uh, you you've done a lot of in, you know English speaking projects. I mean, I'm I'm familiar with a lot of your work, and especially a uh, you know a warrior nun that's on on Netflix uh, recently. What 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 attracts you to uh, to take these to, you know these English speaking roles rather than you know staying like in Dutch cinema and so on? Well, it's from the start. Am I my I feel very European as an as an actor or as a human being uh to begin with my mom is italian and i grew up in in like like in holland but i loved languages from very young i also when i was 12 i already went to you know movie theaters that had uh, zhang yimou films uh italian films french films german films and i loved all of those stories and the cultures that and that and it, the way it enabled me to travel and uh you know get to know other people's lives and and motivation everything so i i loved that from the beginning so for me it felt, felt really natural i loved i speak german and french and english and i i learned it in i loved it in school and i went on to do some theater in germany as well so i mean i just i don't know i've it always felt really logical to me to to work that way and then I got, you know, I got help from my, the way my career went, that two films were nominated for an Oscar, and then I got an agent, and, you know, it took me abroad, but I, I didn't as much pursue it, although I think I always felt that's how it should be. So, I, and I just love the way the world at this moment, it's very much uh, the way the industry functions now. I mean, um, storytelling is so connected worldwide, and and we hear from each other's stories and and through all these platforms like amazon where marionette is on tomorrow um uh and and the likes of them we we're so much more connected in storytelling and i really think that has huge value and i it's what i somehow felt really natural to me from the from the beginning most excellent and take um before i let you go did, after uh, you know talking with Albert and doing this film, does this change your views about God, or you is pretty much the same? Um, whew, tough ending question. Um, it's pretty much the same. It kind of it well, it confirms what I don't like about a lot of religious perspectives, and I and it confirms that I. Well, I mean, I don't. It's a huge. I don't know how much time we have, but um, uh, for me, I, I really look at the film in a in a very specific way. I think you can see the film in many many on many levels, and I also love this perspective to see it from the boy's head, a boy who has had a huge trauma and is actually healing, trying to heal from it by inventing uh, his own world, and then in the end, his own in invention heals him, like Marianne telling him, you can do this, you can go out, go out to your mom and pinch her. I, and, and actually that confirms, in a way, my view of God or religion or, or what life's about is that we have to find and connect to our own force inside our own hearts or souls and, you know, find our purpose or power from within and love ourselves. You know, I, I, there's a lot of confirmation of, of that really good side in it for me. Most through, a, through a very creepy thriller. 
<laughs> Excellent answer. We'll take that. Hey, thank you very much uh, for speaking to us about Marionette. I, I really enjoyed this conversation. It's, it's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Same here. Same here. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye now. Bye. Bye.